Hi, I'm Todd Wente and this is the Daily 180. 180 seconds of motivation and inspiration intended to help you take action and improve your life. Today we are on episode 128 of the Daily 180 and we are talking about the idea of ownership versus stewardship as it pertains to the physical facet. Now up to this point in time, the idea of ownership versus stewardship has been a little bit designed around the idea of the interactions that we have with others. Today, the idea of stewardship is around the interactions that we have with ourselves. More specifically, it is around the idea that if we are going to pursue success, and if that pursuit of success, remember success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal, if that pursuit of success is going to be longer in nature, then we have to be around to enjoy it. Um, it, it, is not, it is not enough to say, oh gee, we're going to, to be successful but we plan on only being successful. We plan on only pursuing success for five years. After that, we plan on going downhill. Or we, we don't plan on, uh, we plan on making a contribution to the lives of others, but we only plan on doing that for another five years. And after that, we can go downhill. The idea really is that, uh, when we talk about this, is that we do it for as long as we possibly can. That we enjoy life for as, possibly, as much as we possibly can. That we pursue success for as much as we possibly can. That we make contributions to the lives of others for as long as we possibly can, and that we enjoy and live with gusto and relish the world around us as long as we possibly can. Doing that requires a healthy body. I think many of us have had the experiences in our lives where we have been ill. Some of us have had the experience to face a chronic disease, a disease that doesn't stop, it doesn't slow down, it is progressive, and in many cases, some cases, it can be terminal. One of the fascinating things that I have ever seen about individuals who have chronic terminal diseases is that many of them use that time or have, have, have an experience during that time that they pull things into focus and they relish the life that they have. And their only wish is that they could have a little bit more. Well, for us as stewards of our future selves, we can do much the same kind of thing. We can recognize that enjoying life in the future with gusto and relishing all of the opportunities that exist, whatever that means at whatever level. Obviously, gusto at 80 might be different than gusto at 20, but the idea that we can enjoy the, the life that we have and relish every moment is very much impacted by the health that we enjoy. And so being a steward of that future self means that perhaps in the present, we take actions that are mm, perhaps not so much pleasurable as they are beneficial. We avoid that extra piece of cake. We spend a little bit more time walking instead of riding. And we look for ways to improve our physical health long term. It's just something to think about. Maybe today as you're reaching for that bag of M&Ms, you'll say to yourself, you know what? Maybe I'm going to have a different snack and I'll grab a piece of cheese instead. I know there's all kinds of things that we could talk about. This is Todd Wente. This has been the Daily 180. Go forth and conquer. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.